Hey guys, so it's me, May, and you've noticed that I've, I'm doing like a ton of videos today because I accidentally deleted, actually I didn't accidentally, but I um, deleted my old YouTube account, so I decided I would make a new one, so I'm just trying to catch up and do some videos. Um, I know that not a lot of people watch my videos, but still, I just like to do it for fun. Anyway, so like I said on my last one, my last video where I was organizing my background, what's in my backpack tag thingy. Um, I told you I would show you how to organize my binder, or not my binder, but your binder, sorry. Let me move some of this junk behind here. I just have my, okay, there we go. So, this is my history binder, and, um, it's just a woman, you know, just whatever. I think it's a deer. So whatever, um, yeah. So I have all my stuff in here. I'll turn it your way so you can see. I keep flashcards in here with, I just wrote them in pen, where you just have the definition and, you know, anyways. So I keep flashcards in there. And then I have my stuff that I'm studying for this unit. I have it in the front of some notebook paper, because I just have study guides and stuff. Then I have all the previous stuff in this next thingy. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this. I'll just show you how I do it. Just move this all to the next spot, because we're starting a new unit that I have to do the study guide for. I really left my homework over spring break. Anyway, so yeah, you just, now this is kind of messy, I know. Um, like this, I just wrote it in pen because I was like, anyways. Then I can show you, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, sorry. So yeah, we're just moving this to that. Then you have all this notebook paper here, and then I just have some notes back here about, you know, all that. So what I would do is just put tabs in, go ahead and put tabs, and it depends on what your teacher likes you to do. My teacher kind of makes, like, lets us do it by ourselves, so everybody has a different style for theirs. But I don't really use any of these tabs, I don't think, do I? No. Um, I used to at the beginning of the year, and then it just became, like, crazy. So I just put them all in one. So that's how to organize a small binder. Now I'll show you how to organize a big binder. Like, an English binder. This is the big one. Um, and I just wrote some stuff on the back with Sharpie. So what you're going to do in this one is you probably have a firm pocket. And this just has all the important stuff that I need. And these are questions from Call of the Wild, which is my homework, um, which was. So I just use sticky notes and help with that. And our teacher kind of helped us set these up. We have information W, grammar, drafts, information R, text, current, word study, and return. So you just keep all your stuff that your teacher tells you there. We have DGP, I have drafts in here of my writing, which we do on yellow paper. I don't know if you can really see that. Whoa! Okay. Information R. Text, these are all the scope magazines that we read. Current, this is what we're working on currently. Word study, these are the words that we have to study. <laughs> Pretty self explanatory. And all my tests that have been returned. And yeah, so really your teacher should help you. But if not, just leave a comment below and I can show you a little bit more about organizing because that was kind of boring, I know. So thank you for watching. Bye!